Welcome everyone, I'm Dean Phillips, Worldwide Tech Lead for Automotive at AWS. Hi, I'm Stefano Marzani, Principal Specialist Solutions Architect, Autonomous Vehicle at AWS. Stefano, I know that you know this, but a lot of people don't realize that we are entering into a new era of modern vehicle architectures that are more centralized, with fewer distributed ECUs that are being driven by the introduction of domain controllers. We're also seeing further centralization into zonal architectures, which ultimately leads to reduced cabling, weight, and complexity. Combine this with high-performance computing in the vehicle, and the opportunities are endless. Yeah, this is exactly right, Dean, and super exciting. Today, we are talking to an important AWS customer that is helping to deliver on that promise. And we recently announced that we are working with leading automotive supplier Continental to create standardized modular hardware and software platforms to anticipate software development and enable function updates throughout the entire service life of a vehicle. And the next generation of vehicles. Vehicles may change, but the software remains the center of it in this case. So it really seems that this transformation of car companies in software and service companies is happening for real. There's no doubt about it. We've been waiting to see our customers take advantage of continuous software developments over the air for some time. We frequently hear that cars are like smartphones or even data centers on wheels. It's just like how you develop for a smartphone. You develop in the cloud, test in the cloud, and deploy to the phone. This is exactly how Continental's CADG solution will work. So how does this really benefit automakers and consumers? I'm glad you asked that question, Dean. New software can be developed and tested more efficiently and securely and rolled out directly to vehicles faster while meeting the strictest security and compliance requirements. For example, this means automakers can continuously deliver new features to customers like we are used to seeing with apps or fix software recalls while the vehicle is parked in the garage overnight. Thanks, Stefano. Sounds like exciting times are ahead for our customers and drivers. Let's hear directly from Continental on how they're making this possible. Hello, my name is Olaf Lox from Continental, and I am pleased to give you a short insight to our Continental Automotive Edge platform. To understand the change within the automotive industry, which is currently ongoing, we need to look into the usage of the vehicles and link it to the available technologies and the resulting architecture at those times. First, the vehicles were mainly used for transportation and work, which resulted also in an architecture which was defined predominantly by mechanics. With further enhancement on the technology level and the change in the usage of vehicles for pleasure, safety and comfort, we came to the variety of architectures we see today in the automotive industry. Looking forward to the transformation of the vehicle into a smart IoT device leads us to architectures which needs to be flexibly defined by implemented functions. This will give us the opportunity to reduce the time to market for the introduction of new functionalities, enable new value streams as this upgrading can happen at any time during the vehicle life cycle, and in addition, we are able to improve the sustainability of the vehicle itself. Detailing on the current implementation and the future approach we see that today we have a high number of ECUs with dedicated compute power. The functionality is isolated in dedicated ECUs. The vehicles are fitted with lots of wires and we have a limited cloud connectivity. With the growth in functionality and the related complexity growth when transforming to software-defined vehicles, we are reaching the limits of the current implementations. And therefore, we need to investigate into new architectures. There is a consensus that it will consist of a few high-performance computers with significant compute power and zone controllers. The degree of the hardware-software separation will need to be lifted to the maximum level. And with this approach, we will also be able to reduce heavily the wiring harness within the vehicle. And in addition, we will make use of the available connection to the cloud. 
The answer of Continental to this change is our Continental Automotive Edge platform. It contains, from top to down, a DevOps workbench for seamless development and integration of applications across the border. The cloud part, which we are developing with our partner AWS, with integrated services for verification and maintenance, as well as the data center. And of course, the vehicle, which can host any kind of internally as well as externally developed application on an automotive software platform from Electrovit, which is then integrated onto our hardware platforms. All this in the established, secure, safe and reliable environment of the automotive standards. In a nutshell, with the Continental Automotive Edge platform, we are harmonizing the development and integration of distributed services and applications and designing an onboard system infrastructure to enable the seamless introduction of a self-defined vehicle, together with Electrobit and our partner AWS. Coming to the benefits for the OEMs, developers and customers, we have one end-to-end -end platform for the development, test, integration, delivery and operation for the applications. This is an open platform utilizing broad synergies. Update over the air during the whole vehicle life cycle is built in. And with that, it enables a reduction of the market introduction of new features and generate additional revenue opportunities accordingly. With Continental's expertise in development, integration system and in-vehicle architecture, we are the right partner for the transformation. So join the way towards the software-defined vehicle as the trend is not reversible. The software is becoming a key factor and utilizing the cloud will be mandatory to access all potentials in future. Therefore, we say, think outside the box and form new partnerships. Use these partnerships to develop future end-to-end -end systems and be amazed what is possible with this new setup and inspire others to join in.